our second special event is called exhaustive events. Now, exhaustive events is not what you experience during school that you get very tired and then you think you are, you are now exhaustive. That is not the meaning. Exhaustive means that it used all the outcomes. So that is what you most of the time experience at the end of the year, after a long school year, that you used all your brain power and energy, then you are exhaustive. You exhaust all of that. Now, in terms of probability, it means the two events used all the outcomes. Now, I'm going to illustrate this for you once again by looking at an example. First of all, our sample space are the numbers or the outcomes rather, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Event A are the outcomes one, two, three, and four. Event B are the outcomes four, five, and six. So let's look at the Venn diagram again. Always remember your sample space first. Now, are there any outcomes in both? Remember with the first special event, the mutually exclusive events, there were no outcomes in both, so therefore there was no intersection between the two events. There was no end. Now, as we, you can see, four is now an outcome that is in both. So when we draw our, our two events, we know now that there will be a both part. And the outcomes that is in both is four. And remember, we always start with that, with that part, with those outcomes that is in both. Let's now complete event A. Event A has got outcomes one, two, three, and four. We have four already, so we still need to put in one, two, and three. You all happy with that? A is now one, two, three, four. Now we look at event B. Four is there already. We still short five and six. Five and six. Let's double check if this, this is correct. Event B, four, five, six. Event B, four, five, six. It is correct. When we look at the sample space, which outcome is missing? Because that we put on the outside. Which of these outcomes are not in our sample space? So let's quickly double check. One is there. B, two is there, three is there, four is there. Four we've got already, five and six. And as you can see, these two events used all the outcomes in the sample space. And that is the key. It used all the outcomes. And that is what exhaustive events are called. All outcomes are within my two events. There are no outcomes outside. Now what is now significant about this? There are no outcomes outside. So if I ask you now a question and I say what is the B of A or B? What will you tell me? Let's look at this again carefully. How do we find probability again of any event? It's the N of that event divided by the N of S. So how many outcomes in A or B? In A or B? And we count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do you agree with me that is six? How many in my sample space? Of course, that is six. And my answer is one. So what is significant about exhaustive events are the following that if two events are exhaustive, it means there are no outcomes outside the two events. They are all used by the two ev events. The two events are then therefore exhaustive. And what is then very important to remember is that the probability of A or B is equal to 1.